So we've got um, Jason Jolly's walking over here. He's got something on his phone. So we've got uh, Errol Campbell and, and, Tony Grant. and Tony Grant are going to go out. So that'll put um, Errol on pole and Tony Grant on two. Been around for a while. Fairly, relatively new to Wingless, probably three seasons. Tony Grant, about his first season. So they're away. Campbell gets the jump there and well, Grant's going to the outside. Actually, as the sun's come down a bit, there might be just that little bit of moisture coming up in the track, hopefully. But um, Tony Grant's still giving it a go at the outside. But Errol's got that thing stuck to the bottom pretty well, I tell you. But Tony's coming at him again. He might just get up. Well, oh, geez, I'll tell you, that's close. <laughs> that's, uh, that's definitely... Um, Gonna go 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 back to the computer scoring there. From Newcastle in the seven NX. Nice looking car that. I like the blue and the orange. Gotta get that contrast on the cars. But, um, time will tell. Mitchell will hit the gas. I'll tell you what. He's not gonna. He's not gonna give him a chance. Errol's, uh, Errol's come back in underneath. He'll run with Bootlin here for sure, but it'll be tricky, pretty hard to get back from when you're down there. A couple of car lengths and a couple of laps is pretty hard to, hard to um, come back from. And he's probably just overdriving it there a little bit out of, out of two. The thing was pitching sideways. But um, Mitch Bootlin. Boom, he takes it. So, um, he's going to come up against David Eggins now. Now, this will be interesting. So, um, oh no, actually, no, Dave starts from the inside, so a little bit slightly less interesting, possibly. But, um, I, like I said, Dave Eggins off the pole position, he rarely gets done from there, I'll tell you. But uh, you never know, night could be the night. Nope, doesn't look like it. But Mitch Bertland's coming back at him. That thing's bucking there in turn two. But he's, uh, he was giving it a crack. But, um, yeah, just that bit of dust coming up there. You can see the, the guy on the outside just losing that bit of drive, particularly down off two into three. There just, just isn't the drive there for the guy on the outside. Dusting up a bit off there four, so that's going to make it tough for the guys on the outside in the last. Better so that was a gimme. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty obvious, but anyhow, Michael Butcher off pole, Dave Eggins. He'll give it a crack off the outside, I tell you. But Michael's quick. These guys have done heaps of laps together over since oh, the last few years. They've raced all over the country from Warrnambool to to Wombo to everywhere in between. Geez, Michael's giving him half a chance here. Michael's running that, that bit wider, and I tell you what, he's given Dave a bit of a look. I reckon he's going to take him. He has. Geez, I didn't expect that. Um, Dave Egan takes that. And look, to be brutally frank, Michael Butcher threw that away. Um, he should have won that. But any Who we got this time? Robert Mazza. I don't think he'll do that. No. I don't think Rob will give Dave a, a second chance. But let's see. Yeah, no, Dave's going to have a crack around the outside. He's got to get in hard in three. There's a little bit, it looks like there's a bit of drive over there. If you get hard in three, hold it in, in four and then have another go at him into one and two, which he's done. That's what he had to do. He didn't have to pass him in three and four. He just had to stay with him. And then you can get that slingshot into one and you can carve him up. David Egan stays out for another one. Yep. That's, that's a, a great effort from Dave Egan's there. <laughs> he, I always tell him he looks like Paul Kelly to me. But anyhow, he's going this time off too. Oh, Seaton's having a go at it. 
Seaton Young there, he gave it a crack in turn one. He threw it in there, but Dave was just able, Dave Eggins just held to hold it on the outside there. And he's back in front. I'll tell you what. Dave Eggins is going to bring himself up from what was it, seventh or eighth. He's, he's made some progress here, I'll tell you. And it's good to see, good driving. We're still sitting here with that potential uh, inversion of the field. <laughs> they do that. He's in the ex Simon Bestman car from Newcastle. Picked it up last weekend, got it together this week. Racing it this weekend, so um, he's been busy. Dave off the inside, Dave Eggins goes. Oh, Kevy gets a bit of a jump on him. I'll tell you what, I reckon that's enough to do it. The lights went green. I'll tell you what, Kevin Willis, he was like, he had drag. Oh, no, they pulled him back. I thought he actually did that okay, but anyhow. I thought it was Kevin Willis, the drag racer there. His reaction time. It was massive, but um, they pulled him back. And I'm not sure on the rule on that, Neil, what is David Eggins on the inside, Trent Martin the outside. This will be interesting. Dave's going to have to go for it because Trent will. Trent tosses it in there. He's holding him. Tell you what, that's all he's got to do, and he's going to get him. Yep, down the back straight. But Dave's come back at him. Geez, Trent, Trent gave him a second chance there. Similar to Michael Butch. But look, he's come back look, again. Look at that thing. Holy dooly. He's come back huge. That, is, that thing looks good. Hey, that's a pretty swish looking wagon out there, that thing of Trent Martin's. I'll tell you that. Yeah, Trent Martin on the outside. Jacob Jolly on the inside. What's Trent got up his sleeve? Yeah, just, oh, he's there, but he's, he's just. Oh, he's come, he's there. that thing off turn two. He is driving off turn two. It's just, but he's, no, he hasn't been able to get out. If he can get in through, through one and two here again and just get up with him, get level with him, that's what he's got to do. He's done it again. He's, he's level. There. He's just got to hold it but he hasn't gotten the drive of four. That's the problem. So Jacob Jolly, good drive by Jacob Jolly, but I'll tell you what, Trent Martin and David Eggins, um, they certainly earned their 20 cents in them, um, them pole shuffles. Um, great work by them guys, but just looking at that, one and two, there's still a bit there. Two, there must be some drive over there in number two turn, but Four's just dusting off and just just no drive off there. So even if you're holding on the outside into three, you, you're going to get carved up into four. Turns the weapon off. Um, Jacob, you did all the hard work in the heats to get a good point score so you didn't have to do any work in the pole shuffle. Um, you had to just come out for the one run. Yeah, that's it. I think if you do all the work in those heats, that it gives you a good run, um, obviously, in these pole shuffles. So hopefully we can set this thing up for 100 and... We can get going and it'll be a good race I'm, for all the crowd and everyone involved. So thanks to Dave for putting on the track and putting on the event and Tone for doing it and everyone else that's involved here. It's awesome.